<laughs> People talk, I'm sure get into individuals, but just the, the quality of, and depth that you seem to have in the tight end room right now, can you just address it overall as a group and where, where you feel that is? Yeah, I think, you know, it's uh, first off, it's a testament to our uh, scouting department. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. Uh, getting the right guys in the room. Um, and then after that, the right guys get in the room, those guys just, you know, circling, circling up, circling the wagon every day and just attacking every day um, and working to get better. Uh, it makes it very much so easy uh, to coach those guys uh, when those guys come in and work the way that they work. Jake's entering kind of his second year as like t the first tight end on the depth chart. Where have you seen him really grow this off season and in, in camp after you know, kind of growing into that mm -hmm. role last year. I think the biggest, the biggest growth um, that he's he's made uh, so far is just the connection with guys outside of the tight end room. Um, you know, getting with the quarterbacks uh, one on one. Uh, we go to their meetings um, every every so often, and just sitting there and just communicating with those guys and communicating with the offensive line. Uh, I think the connection uh, with the other rooms um, have been big, even with the defensive guys. You know, you see them talking a lot to uh, the Marcus Lawrence and to. Uh, Dono and J. Lou just talking about different stuff. That that has been good to see because uh, I think that's key for those guys in terms of when you're trying to become a leader and be the guy, um, you got to be able to cross, cross in, over in other rooms. Obviously, John Stevens couldn't get on the field last year, but as far as mental application and putting that forward, how have you seen him grow going into year two? The, the mental application has been good, uh, and I use the term good because uh, we seek greatness, uh, but it's been good. Uh, we still got some growth to go um, with them. Um, but he's, 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 he's been doing good. Adding that 12 pounds, is it really him just kind of conforming into his own body and trying to figure out a lot of the dynamics still? Oh, uh, it's really, you know, like I said, God, like I said before, God took away his legs, and so he had to focus on more of the upper body. Yeah. Uh, he did a great job, you know, with H um, and the uh, crew in the weight room. Um, developing his upper body, which was really good, and uh, he looks—he looks—he looks the part for sure. Jake's an emotional guy. He said just now uh, he'd run through a brick wall for you and his other coaches. What, is, what does that mean to you guys? Uh, really, you know, if a guy tells me he'll run through the wall for me, first off, I'm tell you, hey, don't do that, champ. You know, because hey, then you won't be playing. <laughs> but, but I get the dynamic in terms of that. Just shows a great appreciation um, by him um, and trusting, you know, um, you to help him, you know, accomplish the goal that he wants to accomplish. So it's really, the, you know, appreciation of trust. He was talking about understanding how this is a, a prove it year for not just Coach McCarthy, but the whole staff. Mm -hmm. Is there a sense of responsibility that you and the other coaches share to each other? I mean, I think, you know, whether or not it's this year or any year, I think you always have a sense of responsibility to the next man's uh, job, you know, and, and your responsibility is, hey, you got to do your job to the best of your ability, better than it's ever been done before. Um, you know, then a big year because of other stuff, hey, to me, every year is a big year, especially here. Is it tough understanding families are involved, or do you just put blinders on that part of it? Nah, I just see, I, I just see my job, you know, and, you know, me doing my job takes care of my family. Also, it takes care of somebody else's family, too. So I don't even, I don't put a, I don't put any extra muscle on that hot dog, you know, I just, just keep going. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Peyton Hander's shot so far through camp, and what area do you feel like you need to see him? I'll say this, Peyton has done an unbelievable job. This probably has been his best camp since he's been here um, in terms of, you know, catching, making catches, you know, uh, contested catches. He had a contested catch yesterday in uh, two minutes. Um, and then the biggest growth has been his footwork in the run game. I mean, he's he, coming off of the ankle surgeries. I think that did him an uh, unbelievable job with that. Um, and uh, his run game footwork has gotten better. Uh, just got to continue to work on his hand placement and his leverage. Uh, but. He's made big strides, and he, I mean, he's having a heck of a camp. What's the next step for Schoonmaker? Uh, next step for Schoon is just, again, consistency. You know, having him on the grass, you know, uh, making plays in the, in the passing game, um, and then being that blocker uh, that we can lean on um, and being consistent with his uh, footwork and his leverage um, and just that mindset of, you know, getting after a guy. Um, that would be the biggest thing for him right now. Where, where is he? Grow a bit? Oh, oh, Schoon? Grow a little bit? Yeah, it has. It has. Uh, we still got some ways to go with it, just being honest. Um, but it has grown, and uh, you know, he, he's set. He's settling in um, to the play that we need him to be, and it just got to be consistent with it. Where have you? Because he he missed the time with the plantar fasciitis yeah. last year, a key period, and then this off season, yeah. and and now this. Where? Where is he in his progression and where you would like him to be at this point? Does that put him a little behind because of these periods missed? You know, you're always pushing the envelope as a coach. Um, so I'm always in my mind that we're behind. 
but I do think that we're right on time. We got some ways to go. Um, but the key thing is just being consistent, you know, whether or not it's um, in meetings, being consistent in, you know, in practice, uh, just being consistent. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. So whether or not we're behind, I don't think we're behind. Uh, we're kind of just right on time, but we got more hate to make. Fancy guy, too. He seemed to flash for you yeah. some out here. Yeah. You talk about his camp and how you project him in this time. Fan is doing good. You know, he's doing good. He, sh he shows the, his redeeming quality in terms of his play strength, uh, his toughness. Um, like always, we just got to continue to get that consistency um, in terms of, you know, the assignments um, and some of the techniques um, when he's playing fullback. He's, he's showing, showing a nice um, – um, he's done a nice job for us being able to line up at the Y and line up in the, at, at the fullback position. So that shows his versatility. So uh, that's really going to help him um, showcase his skill set um, in terms of his toughness and stuff. So. Coach Prince bring his gold medal in after winning his race to y'all? Did he, did he, was he wearing it the next week? Nah, he, he didn't wear it, but he made sure we saw the video, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you making of that? You know, he's, he's, nah, he's trained in five weeks and hey, he winning thing. You know what? That, hey, that, that shows me, hey, you know what? I can, if he can do it at 60 years old, then, hey, I can do it. I, and it also showed me I need to pick up the pace because I cannot do it right now at 41. <laughs> I can promise you that. <laughs> um, with Jake, I'm sure you asked this. Yeah, that's so good. Has his... Serious? Has he changed uh, after his rookie year? Kind of been more serious about this at all? Has he always been that from the day one? Nah, he. I mean, ser I mean, he's serious about football. Yeah. But he's probably the biggest joker on the team. Uh, <laughs> but like I told him guys uh, earlier, you know, one of the biggest things he's done is building the connection with other rooms, whether that's the quarterback room, the offensive line room, uh, the defensive backs room, D line room. Building that connection and uh, we call it across the hall. Um, communicating with those guys uh, football wise and just you know outside the white line wise you know um, that's probably been if you talk about leadership outside of just pure football that's probably been the biggest thing that he's done and one guy we haven't asked you about is the rookie free agent span for yeah. how, how is he what do you like about him what do you yeah. see from him he's on track um, like I said in the spring uh, if you had to draw up a tight end, a uh, wide tight end, he would be the one you would draw up. You know, the length, uh, the size, um, the strength. Um, he has athleticism, enough athleticism in the passing game. And uh, he got a little, you know what, in his neck, you know, in terms of he don't take, he don't take much, you know. So um, he's, he's doing an unbelievable job. Um, he's still got more hay to make with him, but he's doing good, really good. Oh, one other last thing on, yeah. on fan, you talked yeah. about the cross training. Yeah. Hunter's also kind of yeah. done some yeah, comments. Yeah. So, yeah. How much do you Absolutely. work with him and how does he look yeah. there in that? That's been good. That's been good for, uh, for uh, Hunter. You know, he, he's, a, he's a very unique player in terms of he learns and transitions very smoothly. Uh, he's, he's even killed, you know, never too high, never too low. So that works great for him. Uh, him coming to our meetings and coming to our individual has really helped him um, in terms of with the fine detail, the fundamentals of a tight end playing in line. Uh, so he's done an excellent job uh, with the cross the cross training um, also. Um, and I really like do like what we're doing with both of those guys with that cross training because it's really going to allow us to, you know, it's going to allow them to be able to give themselves the best chance to make it. And also it gives them, gives us a uh, great opportunity to, you know, kind of play around with your, with, with your pieces. Do you alternate them? I mean, is, if one goes in the fullback room, does the other go in the tight end room? Or, no, or are they both we, in the same room? Or? Yeah, yeah, they'll go both go in the same room. Okay, so, okay. you know, like yesterday, Hunter came to our meeting room and uh, Bull was still in our meeting room. Okay. And then flip side, when Bull goes over there, then Hunter's still in there. So, okay. And then that helps, too, because then, you know, Hunter's in our meeting room and he's getting the tight end points. But then if it was a rep where he was at fullback or a rep where uh, Bull was at fullback, then I can say, hey, Hunter, how would you do this at fullback? And so then he's able to talk then also about the fullback stuff. Thanks so much. No, thank Appreciate you. it. How you doing, sir? You doing outstanding, man. Last of the Mohicans. No, it's all good. Um, what can you expect from Brethren Fan for as a rookie? He didn't catch the ball a lot. Does he, you know, what can you expect from him? You know? mm -hmm. I, think, I think his toughness, um, his size, um, his ability to be able to control the C-gap in the run game, I do think that that is by far his biggest redeeming quality. 
Um, he has athleticism, um, so his intermediate route running, uh, he has the, enough speed to uh, stretch the field, um, and then his uh, catch radius. Um, I think he has a tremendous catch radius because of his arm length. So um, he's doing a phenomenal job. Uh, his play style is right, his temperament is right, um, and he's smart. What's the next level for Ferguson? I mean, how good can he be? You know, next level, um, again, I, I just always chase consistency. You know, you got you to run it back. Um, again, you know, every year, um, and how good can he be? Hey, who knows? But, uh, you know, I think the next level is just consistently playing the way that you played last year, but even better, you know, so that it's not just, say, you had a one-year, one-hit wonder, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's every year being consistent. Appreciate you. I appreciate you.